I'm crying. We're funny. Oh, we're so funny. <laughs> uh, oh, gosh. Okay. I need to be high. That's what I'm like. Oh, oh my gosh. Did, did you not finish the ball? Let me hit it when you're done. <laughs> you see, you're really high. Guys, but she's like, yeah, I'm just still not high yet. Maybe I just fucking drink. That's why, that's why I told you I'm an alcoholic now because the weed doesn't make me feel anything. I've started drinking more. That's what I noticed. You know? Wait, say that again. I want to feel something. <laughs> wait, I think I want to feel something. I, I, have oh, our bitch, I used to smoke 12 flat ass months a day. A day. I used to spend literally she, like yeah. so, like it was bad. It's like me now. And <laughs> I started crying. I was like, just tell my mom I'm sorry. I thought it was gonna be for like forever. There's a spider right there. Where? <gasps> Someone kill it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, I, have blog, to, blog. I have to vlog. Okay, okay. Hold up. I haven't what? done a sit down video in like Real a fun. fat fucking minute. Like a fat minute. I never do sit downs. So I always vlog. My name is Jaden. I'm 20 years old. I am from Kennesaw, but if you don't know where that is, Atlanta. I'm Mo. I'm 21. Oh my god, I'm so old. I'm from Brazil. When did you move here? I'm not sure when I was nine. Ten. Nine, ten. It's actually interesting. Like, I went to Disney when I got here. <laughs> and then when I actually got to Atlanta, it was my birthday. So I moved when I was nine, but then okay. I turned ten. And you didn't know any English. Mm -mm. And then that how long crazy. did it take for you to learn? It depends, like, cause there's levels to it. Yeah. You know, cause when I got here, I didn't even know hi, bitch. I really? Knew star. That's the only one. Star. Yeah. Okay. What's gonna be so cool is like in a year or however long from now when we go back and watch this video. This is like some of our first times like hanging out. Oh, so like I this know. is like y'all getting to know them is like me getting to know them we at can the do same a part time. Two. In, like a year. Y'all will just see our relationship grow. Here you go. Literally. We go on trips. I love me a good trip. Literally she's going Puerto tell them where you're going. Puerto Rico on Friday. And today is $3. Monday. So. Shit, I forgot to ask for sour cream. I fucked up. Okay, we went to La Fonda. This is their first time. We're gonna do a little, how do you say, mukbang, mukbang? What is it? A mukbang? Muk I thought it was mukbang. I feel muk mukbang. Mukbang. Whatever the fuck bang. So or damn, there's... that's a fat piece of steak. <laughs> Look at this shit. This, this comes with so much food. Beans, I'm so happy right now. Rice. I just love food. I'm high and I love food. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, so some of y'all asked me some questions and I'm just gonna answer like a few of them. Let's talk about goals for this year. Ooh. What are your goals? What do you want to accomplish? You start and then you. Have a permanent location for my business. I am a swimming instructor. I have a swimming school. Now I have like an outdoor location, but I'm trying to get an indoor one. So that's my goal. Go to at least eight more countries. Number three, make a lot of money. I can't lie. I don't even have a cap on how much money I want to make. I just want to make a lot of money mm -hmm. and be happy. Like, be happy making money. Like, be financially free in the way that I can, like, control my own schedule. Yeah. That was so in depth, but, like, no. I love that. Oh my god, wait. I have to tell you guys what happened. <laughs> so, we were in the car. My, I felt wow. so bad. We were so in the car. It's fine. We're going to the liquor store. We just picked up this food from La Fonda. And I looked down and oh, I felt myself fucking bleeding. So I looked down and I fucking bled all over her car. Like all over her car, all over the seat, all over my white ass outfit. So this had a like cute little set. Now I'm wearing sweats because I bled all in it. Pro tip, if you ever bleed anywhere, you're not supposed to do any type of blood. You spit on it. Mm. It breaks down the blood cells. Only your spit can break down your blood. Your blood cells like gets rid of it. It literally did on the on the seat when I like spit on it after you told me to. It, it like dissolved it. It way does. More. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like really weird about this stuff. But my main number one goal. No one will ever know. I feel like I like to keep that to myself always. Like even for the year or something. I don't know. I'm just weird about that stuff. That's not weird. But I just wanted to. I'm, I'm an not honest. Weird. I'm just an honest person, so I okay. couldn't tell you my number two goal and say it was my number yeah. one. Just say so. what you <laughs> wanna share. I feel like my number one goal for this year. Not necessarily that this is number one, maybe it could be, but I want to have like, this is something I've been working on and just having more self-discipline, like uh, stop procrastinating like little things like the dishes or like going to the gym. A lot of us things, I just want to like be on top of it. I want to wake up earlier. I just want to be better for myself like overall. Honestly, that could be number one because period. I feel like number two definitely is to like bring out like my business. I want to start doing like Photography. I wanted to like do more like cool shoots and do like models and stuff. But maybe I'll start cooking some more. Quicker. Last night when I like sat down and first started talking to them, what I really mm -hmm. liked most about them was that like I haven't had such a real conversation with girls mm -hmm. my age. Like the girls in Atlanta are just 
different like real okay. different like to be nicest i possibly can like the entitlement is like ridiculous realness and also they both have several different jobs like they both work their asses mm -hmm. off i love a hustler like, hustler, like i love that shit like talk, talk to our two yourselves so, i wonder where i wonder where she's at i'm an emotional person <laughs> oh gosh i don't know it's like i know but like only she would understand me <laughs> <laughs> like my brain's just crazy whenever i was a kid like i still do this all the time like i'm like bitch you had to remember, remember this moment forever and like i try to think about it like you i used to do that i used like, to do that shit as a kid like <laughs> i never do that shit anymore but i used to do that shit as a kid all the time i know i always try to do that i'm like bitch you had to dude do you have ocd forever. I do. Like, that's why. So do you realize that that's why? Dang. It's like I do things in sets of threes, like in patterns. Like if I fuck up, I have to redo it. I had to pee so bad this one night. Like I was literally peeing my pants, but the microwave was still going. And I was like, I cannot leave the microwave. Like, bitch, I peed in the kitchen. Like, that was sick. What's wrong with that? Like, I did it purposely. I was like, okay, let me just pee here. But like, yeah. I just held it in for so long that I couldn't hold it in anymore. That's just crazy that our minds and brains work like that. Like my, I don't think I have OCD at all. But like, I don't think so. Either. Yeah, like I just, I don't yeah, think I just, do. I'm so jealous of how chill she is sometimes. But I am like, like the volume can't be on 33 or 36. Like it has to be on 32, 34. Like I'm like that type of. Okay, I love doing a video in English because I feel like it's so much easier to talk now. Really? Yeah. Mine's and Melly on Instagram and I get to. I think too. Mine's all JJ, I think JJ A A D Y N. But those are the Instagrams. I was saying she films everything on her Instagram and like all her social medias in Portuguese. So I, I asked her, I was like, you need to start filming in English so I can understand what you're saying when I watch. Right. How long ago have y'all been smoking? Five years. What's what's y'all's first getting high story? What's y'all's first mm -hmm. time getting high? I have a good one. So cool. We met up with these kids in the woods before school by Chick-fil-A. We got Chick-fil-A first and then we went to the woods by this creek behind the Chick-fil-A. And we wanted to do like the gravity falls out of this big ass like bottle. And they made me get in the fucking creek in the winter time at like 6 a.m. because we got up hella early this morning, like three hours early, so we could just smoke, chill, eat Chick fil A, and like vibe before school. In the freezing cold, my ankles, my socks, my sneakers were soaking wet. I went to school high as hell. We all thought we were in a video game. Like, <laughs> I was in St. Simon's Island. I was like, bitch, I was like 11 or 12. Like, what? I was probably 11. We were at the beach with my friend and her parents, and her parents smoke, and they let her smoke. Cause they don't think nothing's wrong with smoking. So we get high, we're like smoking at the beach, whatever, like we don't realize we're high, but like we're riding bikes and I wanted to go in the ocean. So I rode my bike into the <laughs> Like I rode it and then like, I was sweating for a while. They couldn't find me, but like, I don't really remember where I went. They said I came out on the bike. Like I came Stop. out riding and the moonlight's just shining on me. Like they were like, this is like straight out of a movie. Like you riding your scooter into the fucking ocean. That was one of your first times or that was your that first time? That wasn't my first time. Like uh, that was my first That's such a good time. first time. So everybody used to smoke around me. But you know me, I was a goody goody to like him literally so fucking long. Like to the point where like people used to make fun of me, like don't even hang out with Mel because she's gonna tell her mom everything we did. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I started smoking, I started smoking heavy, so it was like it was crazy because yeah. I went from not smoking to smoking. I thought that was fucking right. right. This was like. What did I say it was? The sweet is the best. You know yeah. <laughs> she asked me earlier. She like said, "Is this baby like chow gonna have one?" She goes, "Oh wait, this is weed." This looks like those those. What are they called? The Chex Mix, but with the sugary powder. Puppy on. chow. Oh, that's what they're called. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I got high, for real, for real, my friends came over to my house, and this girl literally. Pulled a Jeep out of my mom's blender. No the kitchen blender? Way. Your mom knew? No. Oh. Um. Bitch, I started tweaking. Like, I tweaked so bad I was paralyzed on the bed. I like, I was like, I started crying. I was like, just tell my mom I'm sorry. I thought I was gonna be paralyzed forever. <laughs> okay, biggest regret as an adult. My father figure passed away and I didn't get to say goodbye to him in person because I went on a trip to Miami for my friend's birthday. And he passed away while I was on a yacht, and I will forever feel like the biggest piece of shit for not going and seeing him before he died and going to Miami. That's my biggest regret. I feel like mine is keeping around people because I love them, and I even if they have like 
toxic tendencies towards Literally. me. Like, I let the love overpower the logic. Literally. I feel like I have a lot more regrets as a kid. Mm -hmm. Me too. Being so shy, like, and holding myself back because I'm, like, so scared. What people people think. judging me. Yeah. And I still do that, but like I've been so much better at it. But we're gonna go follow her on her channel, so we're gonna end this video. We're gonna do a lot more videos together. Comment whatever you guys wanna see down below. Peace and love. Love you guys. Mwah.